Welcome to the Knot of the Week. We are continuing this week with something decorative, the Solomon Bar Knot. All right, to start this, what we're gonna do is take a bite in our rope. So this will be the, basically it's gonna simulate the smaller cordage that I'm gonna be tying around a thicker cordage that will make the perimeter of the DIY knotboard display. So that's kind of why we're moving into a decorative knot this week. So you wanna take a bite and that bite is actually gonna be kind of the midpoint of the cordage that you're tying. And you're going to basically slip this around the rope you're gonna be tying onto. So it'll look something like this to start with. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, this will become kind of my working end and the working end will transition between the two ends of the line. So first I'm gonna come down across this around the back side of this and then I will leave a little space here and I'm actually going to take this working end and come right through the leftmost side of this so it'll look something like this. So then I'm going to tighten and I'll bring this around. So I'm going to take this right side and I'm going to make a bite with that and then again I will bring this around and work back through, just like so. And you wanna make sure you're tightening these as you go because that's really what's gonna make sure that the pattern comes alive, so to speak. So then, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna drop the right side working end and move to the left side, and I'm going to now move this across the top of that standing part of this line. And now it will transition again to the right side and I'll pick this back up and come through that one more time. So you can see the pattern that's starting to develop now. Now we'll do this again. So you're just basically alternating sides, making sure that the pattern stays intact. And if you get off on the pattern, you won't start to see this um, coming through. So you're basically alternating making bites, if that makes sense to you. So now it's a, a left side bite coming through and around this way. And then once you tighten that, it's now a right side bite. And it's coming down around the back and through. So really this pattern just continues and you can keep tying this infinitely basically as long as you have plenty of working end rope, so to speak. Um, so the real key here is to make sure this starts correctly so that the pattern starts to develop the right way. And then as you start to do this, uh, you'll get the pattern that you're after and you can actually turn this into something like a keychain or so on and so forth. So there's lots of possibilities with the Solomon bar. Okay, so just to give you an idea of what I'm going to do, this is a Solomon bar kind of tied around that longer or thicker line like I mentioned earlier uh, with this thinner diameter cordage. So I started to think about having to turn this and I'm probably just gonna do four parts. So everywhere this will come to, it'll meet here and then I'll probably do some other kind of decorative knot in that junction so it just doesn't look like two weird pieces meeting. But I'll do that around the, the perimeter and then I'm gonna frame it. So we're pretty much getting to the end of this. Um, I'm probably gonna refine some of this. I, I'm starting to dislike these pieces of pencil. I'll probably get some real dowel rods and try to make them look a little bit better. I may try to find a less janky ship's wheel. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna start putting this together around the perimeter and that's probably the next video we'll have on the DIY knot board display is pretty much getting everything together and aligned and what the next step is gonna be. Thanks for watching the Knot of the Week. Do something nice for us. Please subscribe or do something nice for somebody else. And yeah. <laughs>